G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Alright, it's late Tuesday night and the market is down a little bit. Now it has held up a little bit better than what I thought. I was pretty much expecting Bitcoin to go down to around sort of 12,400-ish. It hasn't done that so far. It's kind of held around the you know, $13,000-ish mark. Goes up a little bit higher and goes a little bit lower, but it's really just kind of stagnating here. But I am concerned by that. And again, the fear and greed index is high on the greed side, so I think we might be seeing a Bart Simpson uh, pattern and there's going to be a, a somewhat heavy retracement. And it might even go below 12500 uh, but no guarantees yet, not exactly sure. Gas prices are not cheap, but, you know, they've definitely been a lot worse. And BTC, again, it's ever so slowly creeping up higher. Now it's getting close to 61%. Uh, it was only 60.5 and then it was below that the other day. So slowly but surely growing up. But we can see that the market cap's down a little bit. So we're under that 400 billion. Uh, and, and again, I think there will possibly be a sell-off coming sometime this week. We'll just have to wait and see. But let's have a quick look at the charts. There's not a whole lot of news today uh, coming out. At least nothing that was, you know, overly worth reporting on. So we'll just have a look at some charts and see how we're going. Here's Bitcoin. So we can see it's sort of chopping around a little bit, but it is moving up. So I'm just waiting to see if we maybe have a bit of a, a steep sort of sell-off and again, come back down and test this. But look, I'm not saying we will. I'm just suspicious that it might happen. You know, the fear and greed index was a little bit on the, you know, too high on the greed side. And that's generally when we have a pullback. But as I said, I think, you know, any bears... Uh, would have a hard time trying to bring the price down at the moment because I believe that there are institutions and just other people buying it up. So that's why uh, these dips aren't really going too far and they're getting bought up very quickly. You know, we see some really long wicks, but the the candle bodies are pretty small and the, and the volume's sort of there as well. So, you know, we'll have to wait and see. So BTC... Uh, again, I'm waiting to see maybe, you know, we could just keep sort of ticking over and slowly but surely keep creeping up and up and up and up and up. Uh, that is a possibility, but I am, again, somewhat suspicious that we're going to roll over and, you know, maybe come back down and test this 12,700 or even uh, this level. But it's not completely out of the realms to say that we don't come somewhere down to here. So, again, right around the 12,000, $12,900 level. And there are people out there that think we might come back down and test this level here. So, you know, we'll have to wait and see. That would be uh, quite a correction, and I just don't see that happening. I don't think there's much chance that that wouldn't get bought up long before it could get down to here. I think there will be a ton of buy orders set for anywhere around this $12,500 mark. And again, even... You know, more around here, twelve thousand sort of seven hundred dollar level. I, th I think people will be buying, it. and you can see. I mean, these wicks are getting down there, but it's quickly getting bought up. So I think the buy pressure uh, is still pretty strong. And as I said in the video the other day, I don't think there's going to be any real major, you know, like twenty percent plus corrections until we hit somewhere around fifty thousand. I think around about there, we'll probably start to see some heavy dips. But before then, I think. Yeah, the exuberance uh, of people wanting to buy Bitcoin will just be a little bit too high. And other than a couple of, you know, new flaky sort of hands, uh, most people will just be uh, buying and holding. They won't get shaken out quite so easy. Now let's have a look at Ethereum because Ethereum has dropped down a little bit. But as we can see, it's still following this uh, trajectory uh, and almost to a T. So we got up above 400 again. Uh, we're really, you know, struggling at that 400 level. It's acting as resistance more than it's acting as support. So we can see it's resistance here, it's resistance here, it's resistance there, it's resistance here, and we got over it and we rolled over again. And it is uh, resistance again. But I do believe, looking at this chart, I don't, I don't think we're going to break this trend line. Uh, I think even Ethereum is going to be bought up the same as Bitcoin. So I think this may roll over a little bit more uh, and we may come down and touch this line uh, and we're going to start to bounce back up. I, I think this trend line, which is very similar to Bitcoin's trend line, uh, I don't think they're going to be broken anytime soon. There'd have to be some sort of catastrophic you know, financial news that would affect all markets, not just cryptocurrencies, before these get broken. You know... Th it's highly likely that a stimulus package is going to come out soon. It likely won't be till after the election now. 
But really, it doesn't matter who gets in, whether it's Biden or Trump, a stimulus package is coming either way. They just can't afford to let the markets roll over and fail. It just might be a larger stimulus package if Trump gets in, as opposed to Biden, who they talk about, you know, would want to pull the, you know, tighten the purse strings and all the rest of it. But who knows? But I don't see this getting broken. I think we're probably going to, again, we've, we've had a lot of confluence right where we are. I think we're going to basically hold this. And again, maybe we drop down a little bit lower and sort of come down to, you know, this kind of level here. But I think we're going to start to pump back up. I don't think Ethereum is going to drop too far. But if it were to break this line, I would be concerned because I'd be looking at somewhere around about here, around about the $250 mark uh, is where I'd most likely... Be expecting it to go but it may find a little bit of support down here so the low 300s uh, actually yeah the low 300s I think would probably be where I would expect it to bounce but if that broke then yeah we're getting back down into the $250 range in Ethereum and I just don't see that happening but hey who knows now I did talk about synthetics the other day I'm, I'm looking for a good buy-in point I'm still super bullish on synthetics I really like what the uh, platforms all about and their tokenomics and all the rest of it so we can have a look at a few different charts and they all show something slightly similar so this is the best one I'm looking for at the moment it's not the best chart but it just makes the most sense to me at the moment so it is following this kind of uh, fl you know flag pennant whatever you want to do uh, and again it's staying within these lines and rolling over and I did say the other day that I expected this to roll over and if we look at where this perfectly meets up it perfectly meets up here and there is a little bit of sort of confluence here you know it's used this as support a couple of times before uh, and literally only a couple because we're in sort of price discovery for a while there so I am thinking somewhere around about two dollars sixty is probably the lowest that it's gonna go it's not to say it couldn't go lower I just I suspect this is gonna roll over and somewhere in around here we're gonna have a breakout and it's gonna break out uh, to the upside is what I think but look it, it could go lower and that's what I'm watching for and I, I need to see some confirmation first so again this could just you know drop through here uh, and again even if it dropped out of this down here I would still be thinking that it would kind of find some support around the $2.60 level but if it didn't then I really think we're going to come down here and we're probably going to test the the dollar thirty range thereabouts because we can see that we've had some you know sort of support and resistance here this is you know where it's spent the most amount of time for a while except for you know sort of down here and I don't think we're going to get back to 28 cents anytime soon uh, that's just unlikely and again this is against tether uh, you know if by some chance we were to come back down to uh, 29 cents I would be buying a ton of it an absolute ton of it I bought in at about sort of 80 ish cents so it's about 84 cents so I bought in sort of somewhere around here and yeah synthetics network was my probably biggest performer it's obviously had a massive pullback now we can see that you know it, I mean I didn't buy in here I bought it 80 cents and I bought more over here so it was after the crash so around sort of where was 84 cents so I bought in so somewhere around here so again it's had some confluence here so if it got back down to 84 cents I would absolutely be uh, jumping in it all over again I don't see that happening but again this is against tether uh, you know the US dollar so I think this is going to keep following this down for a while I don't think we're going to get down to actually $2.60 I think we're going to break out to the upside before that but again, I'm not jumping into anything at the moment. I've got some cash on the side. So until I see it break out either way, it, you know, that'll be when I decide what I'm going to do. And if it breaks out below this, then I'll be waiting to see uh, if it finds some support here. And if it breaks down uh, through here, then again, I'll be looking sort of somewhere more down around a dollar thirty. But again, I don't think Synthetics Network is anywhere near done. I think the D, the good DeFi projects, they're going to bounce back super hard uh, in this next leg up. And again, I think that's more coming once Bitcoin reaches that kind of $20,000 mark. I think you'll see a lot of profits come out of Bitcoin and roll into the altcoins. Uh, and then they're going to go on a massive surge. So I'm just waiting to see, you know, when might be a good buy-in price. Now let's have a look how it's doing against ETH because it is a fairly similar chart. Just not quite exactly the same. We can see it's on a downtrend and it's ranging in here. But it really has found uh, a bit of a home right here. We can see that it dropped below that and bounced back up and it's finding a bit of support. 
So I think against ETH, this will hopefully break out to the upside. But look, again, it could roll over and then we're going to keep coming down. And, you know, I spoke about ETH before. I think it's possible that ETH continues to fall a little bit. So if ETH falls, I expect synthetics to fall. Now, the last one is the S, uh, synthetics against Bitcoin chart. I don't like to use this chart too much because I, I like to, you know, measure it against Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum has been the better performer uh, for me out of those two. So really anything that's ETH based, I like to go off ETH. But we can see it's another similar chart. And again, it's had some confluence here before. It's been here before and it's finding some support. So I'm just waiting to see, is this going to roll over and come back down? And again, this point would basically sort of come to somewhere around here and we can see that we've got a little bit of support here previously. So it's sort of around about sort of here. So that would be 19,402 Satoshis. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see. We are on a bit of a... You know, a support line here. This has been support on a couple of times for synthetics. So I'm waiting to see uh, if this holds. And if this holds, then I think basically this is going to hold. Because we've got a bit of confluence here as well. So I think this will hold and it'll break out uh, to the upside. But again, we'll have to wait and see. Until I see a good clean breakout uh, and, you know, not just a, a it kind of wick out. I need a candle body, uh, a close outside of this. That's when I'll consider you know, putting some more money into it. But until I see it kind of bottom out and find support somewhere, and again, we've had a bit of support here before. We did dip below, but maybe it's now at its support line. You know, there's some support here, some support here, uh, you know, a little bit higher there, but sort of support, 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 and this could keep acting as support. So $3, you know, sort of 45, maybe my buy-in point. I'm just waiting to see what happens. All right, well, it's late Tuesday night here, so I won't hold up uh, too much more of your time. Stay safe, be kind to one another. Hopefully you're on that gain train, and I'll see you next time.